Braxted Ward. I called your flat, but some woman answered. Childminder. I'm going to get back there as soon as I can. Did you speak to the vicar's wife? Oh, Black's got her locked in his house for her nerves. Her husband won't say anything either. Wonderful. So where does that leave us? I guess we'll find out. You want me to stand up here? Hmm? No, that's all right. I'll lock up. I won't be much longer now. Take care. OK. Oh, and Robert, I saw what you had yesterday. Remember, I told your parents, if you work for me, I'd keep you off that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I know. All right. I'm only smoking silk cup from now on. Hello? Kevin? Just it. Oh, please don't worry about me. I could send him round. Oh, no, Josiah, please. The cannon is taking good care of me. done this before. If he has one of his turns when he's out, he just tends to run to the nearest person he knows. Oh, came to my place once. <laughs> really embarrassing. I was having sex at the time, do you know what I mean? Yes. Lucky you're on your own then. I sent Kevin home to get some rest. The last three days have been exhausting for him. Wixos. Is that a name we should know? It's not on the list, no. Have another go at looking for it. Right then. Well, I'll go search the net if nobody minds. Mary said she checked on Joey every half an hour. She swears he was in bed the whole time. Look, if you like, I can call Emily Hawthorne. She can take a more thorough look at him. Hello. 
Yes, she popped in the day before yesterday. Um, well, thank you for telling me. When did you find out? Yes, thank you. She's dead. Who? Emily Hawthorne. A hit and run. I gather you telephoned your wife this morning, so I thought I'd call and put your mind at ease. She seemed very tired. She's clearly exhausted by her experience. And that's probably not a bad thing, considering the tragic developments of last night. I also had a call from Robert's parents at Heathrow. They're taking him off to Jamaica for a while. Was that your idea, too? I wouldn't presume to impose my notions upon them. I merely mentioned that they were eligible for aid from a small fund I dispense at my discretion. Where am I going? Outer Mongolia? There is an urgent vacancy out in Sidbury due to the sudden retirement of the Reverend John Miller. No, you can't. I can't leave the parish just because of this. I built this church up from nothing. The local people confide in me. I confide in them. As you say, we simply cannot permit the circulation of such worrying information. You know how these things become exaggerated. I've arranged for your transport to Sidbury at 11 o'clock tonight. Tonight? The Reverend John Miller will brief you on parish affairs and you will take over permanently at the end of the week. I'll send Marion to you just as soon as she's able to travel. Good day. Joey said he didn't like Ravi. He said he didn't like Miss Hawthorne, and now they're both gone, one after the other. That doesn't prove anything. But how do we know that this Wixos isn't him? You gave birth to him, Jude. How could he be named in a book written hundreds of years ago? Look, what if Wixos isn't Joey? Why would he be trying to kill the two people who could tell us if Joey was okay? He could be trying to keep us from finding out the truth. We need to find out what Wixos is. And what he's doing. How? What would a scientist normally do to start investigating something that you know nothing about? You'd start with the physical phenomena and try to work out the possibilities. Exactly. If only we had some idea what the bodies looked like. How about this? It was just here. Thrown from the road up there. Looks like it. She must be walking home from her sister's house when it hits her. Well, that's odd. Why? Well, if she was psychic, why didn't she sense something was going to happen to her here and keep away? Her gift was limited. She could usually tell if something was going to happen, but not accurately what. Where was Siva's body? Further along from the hall, the road comes down and turns to the left. So we've got somebody who hits people with the car, causing them to rapidly age. Which is impossible. No, that's not impossible. What? It's a recognised medical condition, rapid ageing. I forget what it's called. It's usually found in children, but sometimes adults. It is possible, it's just not as fast as that usually. But it's likely to be what caused the effects of the people in your book. I tell you what is impossible. Is that? <laughs>